I've been waiting to discuss this all day long. Like seriously, Buari finally approves 7.5% VAT increase. The President, Major General Muhammad Buhari, on Monday signed the 2020 finance bill into law. The special advisor to the President of Media and Publicity, Mr. Femi Adishino, confirmed this development in a statement in Abuja. According to the presidential aid, this is sequel to its passage by the National Assembly and subsequent forwarding by the legislature to the president for asset. It would be recalled that the retired general, while presenting the 2020 appropriation bill to the National Assembly, had also presented the finance bill. He said, and I quote, this finance bill has five strategic objectives in terms of achieving incremental but necessary changes to our fiscal laws. These objectives are promoting fiscal equity by mitigating instances of regressive taxation, reforming domestic tax laws to align with global best practices. Others are introducing tax incentives for investments in infrastructure and capital markets, supporting micro, small and medium-sized businesses in line with our ease of doing business reforms and raising revenues for government. The draft finance bill proposes an increase of the VAT rate from 5% to 7.5%. As such, the 2020 appropriation bill is based on this new VAT rate. End of quote. With the assets, according to additional, there would be more revenue to finance key government projects, especially in the, in the areas of health, education, and critical infrastructure. So I want to ask, what have they been using the tax for? If this is what they are saying will be done with the 7.5 um, increase rate. <clears throat> um, you know, in the last... Um, this is holy show of the increment on VAT started as far back as 2007, um, when the government wanted to increase VAT to 10%, uh -huh. and the people said no. no. <coughs> and as God will have it then, we had a Senate that had a mandate from the people. Hmm. You see, it's, it's, it's one thing for government to sit down and demand for taxes, increase taxes. It's another thing for government to provide services for those tax, mm. for those they are taxing. Mm. And like I've always said, you know, if the roads are good and you're collecting road worthiness, I don't have a problem with it. But we don't have roads. Mm. And every now and then, every day, car owners, road users are paying road worthiness for uh, road worthiness. What is the money being used for? Mm. Who is giving us an account of it? So it's 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 not just mm for government to sit down and say, oh, we want to tax these people, we want to tax these people, we want to tax these people. And then the senators will sit down. After all, they're not earning 30,000 naira a month. Mm -hmm. They don't even understand how much fuel or kerosene costs in the market. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. So when you have people, I, 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 I'll take us back. Few, you know, what the Pope, the Catholic pontiff said, you know, in his early days, he says that the priest should smell like the sheep they are shepherding. Mm. He says, don't move from your air-conditioned house into an air-conditioned car, into an air-conditioned office, into an air-conditioned church, and not feeling the pain of the people that come to church that you are asking to contribute days, do this donation and all of that. Mm. And I'm saying the same thing to government. The government should begin to smell like the citizens yeah. that they are ruling. Yeah. Mm. You don't sit in your high houses. You don't sit in your high places and you impose fines and taxes on the people. Mm. Not bothered whether the people are surviving or not. There's so much anguish in the land. There's so much poverty. There's so much frustration on the faces of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. And yet, people live as, you know, they finish their tenure as a governor, as a senator, and they'll be collecting salaries. And they call mm. them pension. They call them gratuity. They call them all, all manner of names just to satisfy themselves. And yet, paying 30,000 naira mm. as a minimum wage mm. is a big problem. Okay. Well. So, so approving 7.5%, what it means is that tomorrow, pay as you earn will mm. go up. Mm. And the market woman, just by your side, 
will also go up because the cost of transportation. Yeah. Even the cost of going to the farm will, come, will go up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we have is complete wickedness from the side of our leaders. Mm. The discourse will collect money from you every month, even when they do not provide you with light. Mm. Who do you complain to? I was thinking that by now, Mr. President would have had the balls to scrap the discourse. Mm. I mean, look at Nigeria. What do we have as a people from the government to us? What? There is nothing. There's absolutely nothing. We don't have a national carrier. Mm. We don't have an electricity board. Even water we pay, people don't dig their bowls. Mm. I, some governors are even saying that they will not make laws. People should pay for drilling boreholes. Mm. Mm. So what is really going on? Well, I thought we had water corporation. Yes. Oh, well, in those days. And they are still paying there. So it's very unfortunate. Mm. Uh, you know, we can continue with the lamentation from morning to night, but nothing will ever change. Mm. I don't have problem with uh, the, the jacking up of... Uh, uh, the VAT money from uh, 5% to 7.5. Mm. The question I used to ask is that are this money being used judiciously for what the money uh, mm. the monies are meant for? Will it not enrich mm. uh, all these people that are already rich? They already, you know, they, those people earning millions. Mm. Will this jacking up of that not enrich them more at the expense of the poor? Already we, are, we have multiple taxation system in Nigeria. I will take my own as a sample. In my small office, I pay for tax. Mm. Uh, I have two staff, they pay. Then my, my, my wife owns a small shop in my house uh, where she sells provision. The money there, you know, you know, we used to call it come out of Joe Colasa so that you don't need us to find you. If you calculate the other, it cannot be more than 50000 The mm. local government will come, they will collect money for extension, they will collect money for uh, that, uh, sure. uh, that shop. Then we pay radio and television. I've never had it in my What? Radio yes. and television. Permit. Is. Permit. Yes. I don't understand how how is radio and television permit. Okay, but when we asked our local governor, our local government Shama, he said that you know why they decided to call it like that is that majority of the people, majority of these uh, artisans, they don't pay that. That's why they force this radio and television or not. Oh, no radio and television, mm -hmm. you never heard me. You didn't device. mention about the environmental tax as well. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, so look. We, 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 are, we are already oh being taxed mm. from all various... So I'm, I don't have problem. Let this money be used judiciously. Mm -hmm. I think you understand. So that you will not just take this money. What happened to the former mm. FIRS uh, boss? Mm. What's the name? I forgot his Fowler. name. Fowler. Fowler. You know, the man was singing that you know, part of the money was used for campaign. And nothing was heard of that inquiry till this moment. I think understand. Uh -huh. I have about four point something billion spent on campaign for APC. When it is uh, the ruling power, uh, the ruling governor government, mm -hmm. I don't think anything will be heard of that. So you don't think one well, if you want equity, you must come with clean hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, you, you these people you are governing on, these people our, uh, the, the populace feel their pains. Mm -hmm. You know, come out, go to our hospitals. One governor did it uh, in Lagos here. Mm -hmm. In the middle of the night, to just go to all these uh, areas, to hospitals, to mm -hmm. maternities, to uh, general hospitals, to just disguise. They will see whether they are deadly for people. You know, in the, in the day, the afternoon too, they used to disguise. Mm -hmm. They will go there, they will kill us, a patient. I don't understand. They will see the way they had the saw things for himself, by himself for himself. Okay. So that kind of system should be used. Let all these our senators. It's not that when the election is approaching, they will go back to to his constituency. 
start to uh, distribute the uh, labeled gary oh, uh, label okay. put their name put their picture there but sincerely yeah. do you think the 7.5 percent vat thing is is reasonable no but I, 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 i'm they're, surprised they're, i'm surprised no no no, 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 no let me learn let me learn there are reasons for this mm -hmm. not everywhere it's only people uh, you know, buying luxury things like you want to buy wine in the shop. All this wine that costs about three hundred fifty thousand a bottle. I think that's all this thing was explained. And I'm suggesting something: if the enabling environment is created for uh, this small scale uh, industrialist, it would be okay. Even. Let them create diaspora village. Mm. Let the people in diaspora come home. Give them conducive atmosphere. Give them where they will put their 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 their, 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 their set up uh, their companies and let them give them enabling environment. Without all this, if you say you want to call, even without even mentioning it, they've been collecting all this. Look at Nepal, the Nepal disco. Is it disco or Nepal now? Mm. They say by April. They are going to jack up their their price. And well, Mister Mister Mister, Mr. 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 No, Chief Turner, let me let me let me let me take you on a little journey. Okay. Um, I want to totally disagree with you on the issue of increment of the seven point five, and I'll tell you why. Okay. The government should have shown good face to the people before the increment. And how do you show good faith? You raised an issue, a very pertinent issue here, that the former boss of Federal Land Revenue Service said he used the 40 billion or what amount mm -hmm. for, for campaigns, mm -hmm. which he was not supposed to do. Has that money been accounted for? Has that money been brought back into the coffers? Has it been explained to Nigerians why he should do that? Mm -hmm. All of that has, has not been explained. And then you're, you're not adding 2.5%. Mm -hmm. So anyone who says it is a welcome <laughs> development is not being sincere to this country. Even if there's uh, a salary increase. What is the salary increase? You're increasing salary. Mm -hmm. 30,000 naira you do. The numbers are not the same from the yeah. state. Yeah. That's all state. So as far as I'm concerned, Nigeria is still on 18,000 naira minimum wage. Now, remove 7.5% from, from that. At every point you buy something, they'll, they'll collect VAT. And brothers are close. So VAT is not buy. on what you're looking at in terms of saying <laughs> you're buying this. What will happen tomorrow is that with this law, anytime you buy anything that is valuable, it's 7.5%. Mm -hmm. Go to any supermarket to buy something now, they'll collect a 7.5% from you. We, the people are, are groaning. Yes. The people are groaning. And we, those of us who come here every now and then to sit down, we must tell truth to government. We must tell truth to power. The people are suffering. And we have elected these people to ease our pains and our burdens. But what are they doing? They are adding more to it. Okay. Maybe uh, you got me wrong, bro. Okay. What I'm saying is that <laughs> even because it has already been signed now, mm -hmm. yes. you can't go to court and challenge it. Even yeah. if you go to court, you won't meet a, you won't <laughs> have a good job. Okay, quickly. What I'm saying is that okay. even if this money is collected from people, mm. let the money be used judiciously. Yeah. And we're asking the ones that are collected. It's not being used judiciously. How so are we saying so this? So no, yeah. so when we yeah, fight it. Say the same thing, I'm on the side of people. I'm not even, not that I'm supporting it wholeheartedly, but there's nothing we've been untwisted already. Mm. Mm. I think you understand, they've already signed it into law. Mm. So what are you going to do? That's if you go to court now and challenge it, uh, I'm sorry, we know the kind of uh, judiciary we have in yes. Nigeria. So, okay, so let, let's right. hear what she has said. Uh, well, it's not like I really have something to say, but I really want us to go into this topic, and that is about the Sarah suing the 36th state okay. over the ex governor's life pension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, that is a very good That's development, good talk, and, and mm -hmm. I really want us to talk about this because uh, reading it is like we have ex governors that still mm. they pay a lot. Now, according to Sarah, they asked for a documentation of how much do you pay these ex governors. They, they are not really us again. They are just there. Yes, we respect the fact that they, you know, they, they, you know, they served us and they probably did well. But how much? And nobody was able to present anything 
that they are giving and yet they are well they know they are well paid but let's not just talk let's see facts that we're not judging right and now they are going to say that which is a very good one but i want very, to hear you don't need to go far <laughs> um, I, I, I i will give kudos to the Zafala state governor mm -hmm. i think he opened the eyes of nigerians to a lot of mm -hmm. you know madness that was going on in the system mm. the government is struggling to pay its own workers who are you know on on her payroll mm -hmm. daily mm -hmm. they are not able to pay them mm -hmm. yet a former governor is collecting 30 million yeah. social so amount every yeah. month yeah. for doing what nothing for serving the former senate people. president um mm -hmm. Bukola, was receiving some salary one as a senator receiving some, uh, salary as a senator mm -hmm. is it not wickedness mm -hmm. is it more receiving still yeah. but the mistake yeah, people today. make is that no matter how much wealth you acquire you will die mm -hmm. and live it and live it nobody has ever died with his wealth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The moment you die is either your family has access to it, that is if you allow them, yeah. or some other person will benefit out of it. Mm. So for me, it is what Serap is doing is wonderful. But like I keep telling, I remember the last time I met with uh, one of the uh, directors, I said to him, I said, Serap is doing a good job, but you need to sensitize Nigerians more yes. on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So that other people will join in in this battle. Because these our uh, leaders need they need to be stopped. Exactly. Okay, because we're running out of time. Let's hear. Yeah, I, 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 a tumble for Sarah. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, everything still boils down to our constitution. Mm. I think that this kind of thing is dear, written yeah. black and white. Yes. So okay. these people, once the thing favors them, they will not just come out and say, "No, we want to expand this area." It won't be received. I said that we have only one party in Nigeria mm. because the money unites them. Once they are in that Senate or in the upper chamber, there, if you give X amount to A for A party, it must, give. It must be given to B party also. So they don't have any argument of, of, of that. That's okay. why you see them crossing from one, they cross carpet from one party to the other. Mm -hmm. Say that you are doing a wonderful job. Yeah. Try and sensitize people. Mm -hmm. I know the national orientation is not even existing. Mm -hmm. Whether they are existing on paper, I don't know. I don't know. So, but try and sensitize people. Exactly. You are doing a very good job. Thank, Thank you. you so